Hey Sagittarius, it is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to do your love reading from June 17th through the 24th. Do keep in mind that this is a general reading. Only take the message if it resonates with you. I tell you guys in every video that I love you, so I'm sending a lot of love out there to you guys. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, all my information is in the description box below. And if you guys have a quick question and cannot wait for a personal reading with me, I am on its below as fire underscore intuition. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, also in Venus, June 17th through the 24th. All right, Sagittarius, so let's see what messages we have for you guys. Spirit of the Universe, can I please get some messages for the sign of Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, also in Venus. June 17th through the 24th. Alright, Sagittarius, let's see what messages we have for you guys. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. So, this can definitely be someone being stubborn, maybe someone being selfish, kind of controlling our... Maybe you are holding on to a situation and now you're letting go or you are pulling back from a situation in general. Okay, so let's see what messages we have. We have the judgment card. We have the seven of pentacles. We have the lovers card. We have the ace of swords, the high priestess. We have the king of swords. All right. And the overall energy that you guys share is the king of cups. All right. So with the king of cups being here. This is someone that is very generous. They have a lot of feelings and emotions, long-term relationships. Um, the King of Cups also does run from situations. They hide. They don't know how to express their emotions and feelings. For some of you guys, you guys could have been dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some moon are rising, okay? So um, I'm going to start with the bottom. Sagittarius, I definitely feel like this is your energy. This was a situation you found out some secrets with the High Priestess. We have the King of Swords here. You guys could have been dealing with an air sign as well. But this looks like a third-party situation to me. So this could have been um, Sagittarius where you were involved with the water sign and the air sign. Any sign, it doesn't matter. Or um, the person you were with was in a third-party situation. Okay, for some of you guys. Not for all of you guys. But with the High Priestess, there was definitely some secrets. Um, this is all about speaking truth. This is all about the truth coming out. Because we have the Ace of Swords. You finding out the truth in a situation or cutting through something, um, having victory in it. Finding the truth out. We have the King of Swords. This is either you speaking your truth or that person finally speaking the truth within a situation because you found out some secrets with the High Priestess. Now, with their energy, we have the Lover's card, definitely Love Triangle, which is why I feel like there was a third party. We have the Seven of Pentacles and we have the Judgment card. For some of you guys, this was a long-term relationship. Okay? And they took their chance and had a third party situation. With the Judgment card... In the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like your person is kind of waking up to a situation now. Okay? Wanting to end a third-party situation because we have the Seven of Pentacles. So, the Seven of Pentacles, you, you've you invested in this person. Like I said, this was a long-term relationship for some of you guys. And with the Judgment card, they've been running away from their true feelings for a long time. King of Cups, someone who runs away from their feelings and emotions. And now I feel like this person is trying to come back and no longer run from their true feelings and emotions because we have the seven of pentacles divine timing but also wanting to reinvest in the situation and with the lover's card wanting you guys to come back into a union or just wanting you guys to be back in yeah just wanting you guys to be back in a relationship a union you know um with the lover's card so um let's see how the high priestess was here yeah you guys walked away from a situation you guys found out about a commitment or you guys found out about an offer, which I feel like this is how the truth came out, or this is what the truth was. We have the Nine of Pentacles. This is you being single now, not involved in that situation. And with the Eight of Cups, walking away from a situation. Okay, so definitely someone was walking away. I feel like with the Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, the patterns kept either repeating, or this was you holding on, even after you found out the secret with the High Priestess, thinking that things were going to change, and they didn't change. Okay? Um, why is the Lover's card here? Yeah, they're definitely with a third-party situation. And we have the Empress. So I definitely feel like they were cheating on you. Or they could have been dealing with someone they had children with. You could have children with them. The Five of Wands, you finding out about it. Um, a lot of fights, arguments, spats, petty arguments. Um, and then we have the Five of Pentacles. So definitely with the Lover's card, 
you guys breaking up and in the situation someone taking a loss definitely them taking a loss um because you're choosing to be single for some of you guys you guys walked away from this situation or you're walking away from this situation and you guys will be the nine of pentacles you guys will be single okay so we have the strength card the two of swords the eight of swords and we have the hangman the page of swords the four of cups yeah this is you guys finding out the significant information all right, for some of you guys, you guys are finding out the info. You find you found out some information. It could have been on social media. I definitely feel like somebody came to you guys and told you guys this. The right of swords. Yeah, someone told you guys this. It was a third party person. See, the Queen of Wands is your energy, Sagittarius. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the Knight of Wands. So, this is definitely letting me know that he, this person, was either in love with two of you guys or the Queen of Cups. So the person found out about you, Queen of Wands. Okay, and we have the Knight of Wands. So you guys could have been dealing with another air. I'm not an air. Another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and this relationship you guys had was either on and off, or the relationship became unstable, or there was a separation. And in between that separation or the relationship being unstable, it's like they were with you, then moved on to another person. This person found out. We had the Knight of Wands. They confronted you. If not confronted you, you found out about them, or they found out about you. I feel like this person came towards you though, because we had the Knight of Wands. So this is like fast movement. And with the hate man, you know, you were stuck in your head. You're like, okay, wow, I can't even believe this happened. Even though with the high priestess, you felt like something was going on. And with the four of cups, like I said, this is you now being single because this is you separated from this person. You know, rejecting the relationship, kind of hurting the relationship, now being single. You know, still kind of in your head about the situation, still not believing what you heard, what you've seen. But also knowing that the truth was told. Okay, now we have the strength card for them. All right, definitely the shame card is telling me that they met someone else. They were probably attracted to this person sexually with the two of swords. This is them not making a decision, okay, and not breaking free with the eight of swords. Because I feel like this was a situation where they met someone new, they liked someone, they could have been dealing with a Leo, okay, or you could have been dealing with a Leo, so this could have been like a leo sad relationship. And be there was a third-party situation with the two of swords. They tried to ignore everything. Okay, they try to block out emotions and feelings or just act as if nothing was happening. And with the Eight of Swords playing victim, okay, like, oh, it's not my fault. What are you talking about? I definitely feel like this person was playing victim. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, see, this person was being one-sided. We have the Six of Pentacles. So definitely someone was playing victim, Sag. We have the Moon and the Knight of Swords, okay? They try to make it seem like it was your fault. We have the Moon. So with the Knight of Swords, this is definitely telling me that during the time that you guys were unstable or maybe before the separation or when the relationship got rocky with the moon card maybe there was things that you expressed or maybe said okay with the moon you could have been like okay well i never really cared about you that much or you know because the moon talks about um emotions feelings okay and i feel like maybe you could have said something going through you guys' phases that you really didn't mean it could have caused an argument knight of swords energy scattered everybody's all over the place with the six of pentacles this person was like okay well that's how they feel i'm gonna stay one-sided and i'm gonna play victim in this situation due to the fact of things that you said okay but the reason why i feel like these things were said was because with the knight of swords this person had already hurt you before and then to come back in the relationship and then there'll be another third party and you find out and someone confronting you or telling you about a third party of course you're gonna be mad so um why is the strength card here? Yeah. And I feel like the person you were dealing with, um, Sag, they were trying to be strong on the situation, but I definitely feel like temptation got a, got the best of them because we have the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. So you guys could have definitely been dealing with a water sign person, but whoever this person is, they're fucking in love with you, okay? They have the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, all right? So... Whoever you're dealing with, Sag, they're like, they're in love with you, okay? This can be any sign, but we have the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. That's definitely love. And then we have the King of Cups. Like, this person is definitely in love with you, okay? There's no question about it. But I definitely feel like this was a situation where someone was just one-sided thinking about themselves. And I feel like emotions got the best of someone, okay? Because this is Pisces and Cancer energy, so this could have been like a, um... Yeah, this definitely could have been a water sign person you were dealing with, Okay? um Sagittarius definitely because we even have the queen of cups down here yeah you guys could have definitely been dealing with a water sign person okay and then 
like I said, we have the Queen of Wands, or they could have been dealing with a water sign person. Someone was dealing with a water sign person. This is a situation where it was, it looks to me where this was fire, water, air, third party, fire, water, air, and the water sign is in love with you, Sag, okay? Definitely in love with you, okay? Um, the overall energy we have is the world, we have the seven of swords, we have the justice card. Yeah. So for some of you guys, this is definitely going to end because we have the world card. And for some of you guys, this is like it's going to be too late to try to fix this because with the seven of swords, someone is either not speaking their true feelings or there's either more deception going on. Or you guys could have been dealing with a Libra because we have the um, the justice and we have the seven of swords. So this could be a situation where the overall energy is that you guys try to go back and fix the situation. And when you try to go fix the situation, there's still either going to be lies or deception. Or, with the Justice card, you guys are going to balance things out. And with the World card, you know, fix the relationship, shift into a new cycle. But with the Seven of Swords, someone's still going to be holding back their true emotions and feelings. And look, we have the King of Cups. So, you know, that water sign person is just, like, they're in love with you. But either that water sign person is holding back their feelings towards you or you're, you're hiding back your feelings towards them. Clarify the King of Cups. Yeah. See, there's going to be messages coming in about a new beginning. But with the Seven of Cups, someone's going to be confused about if they want to take this new beginning or not with the Fool. Someone's going to be kind of confused if they want to take the offer or not. Um, like I said, due to things that happened in the past, due to the fact that with the Page of Wands, they started a new beginning or there was a third-party situation. So, you know, someone is going to be in their feelings. But if you guys are dealing with a water sign person, that person really does love you and they really do care about you. Because I have nothing but water energy in here. We have the Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. Queen of Cups, like, all the cup cards are, like, love. Like, I mean, that is emotions, but they just have a lot of feelings for you. Okay, so this person is really in love with you, very much in love with you. All right, Sad. So, if you guys want to book a personal reading, all my information is in the description box below. And I will see you guys again soon. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. Bye, Sagittarius.